Hey kids, welcome to lesson nine, if, else, if, and conditional logic number three. Guess the secret number with else, if. In this guess the number game, the starting code tells the user whether they are right or wrong. Let's help the user out even more by telling them if they guessed correctly or if their guess was too high or too low. There are only three possible cases. They were right, their guess was higher than a number, their guess was lower than a number. We're going to use a conditional and if else and an else to implement this. Remember, you can create this using the plus sign in block code. We have a do this, add an else if statement to accommodate the three conditions, update the conditions using greater than, less than, or equal to to tell the user if their guess was correct, high, or low. Test the program out to make sure your updates work. There is a visual explanation here, but I think we can figure it out on our own. So let's just save this just in case. Let's go ahead and take a look at our code here. We have a variable secret number. It looks like it's set to six, so the secret number is six. On the event pick number, and this is pick number right here, you're gonna change it. So this looks like the user is selecting the number. The variable user guess is going to be equal to get text pick number. If user guess is equal secret number, set the text user message you got it, else set text message, nope, that's not it, guess again. So in this one, we need an if else and else if statement. So we need one more here. What we want to do now is just like this if example is here. Our user guesses is getting the text of pick number. So whatever the user is inputting, this is what user guesses is storing. So we want to go to user guess. And one, we want it to be greater than the secret number. And if that happens, it's going to say, nope, that's not it, guess again. But we want to update it a little to say, nope, that's not it. You are too high. Else, we want to set what? Well, pretty much the same thing. Else, user guess is less than the secret number. And don't forget your braces with this one. This one, if you see down here, is closed. So we need an open. Oops. On this one, we are going to set text. User message. A comma. On this one, we're going to say, nope, that's not it. You are too low. And this one now, we got some missing a semicolon right there. And our else, oops, you know what? We actually need to get rid of that one. And it says we are missing a semicolon and we are not missing a semicolon. What could be wrong here? Let's take a look. Hmm. It's not the semicolon. What else could it be? Let's take a look at our code here for a second. I have an if else if and an else statement here. I have two conditions that can be met and a defaulting third. What that really means is there can't be a condition for this third. Either they're gonna get the score right or it's gonna be greater than. If we wanted to do how I had it written, it would be another else if statement. Else if this is happening, but it's not. We're just going to, in an else statement, default to that last one, which should be, nope, that's not it, you are too low, by default. 
Let's see if this hypothesis is right. Let's hit run. Pick a number. Remember, our number is six. So if I go five, it should say, nope, that's not it. You are too low. If I go to seven, nope, that's not it. You are too high. And six should say, you got it there. This is a common mistake I see all the time. You want to keep defining things out. But remember how the if else if statements work. You don't need a condition for that third one. It is just going to default to whatever is going to be there. So if your other two conditions aren't met, that's what ends up happening. So just remember else if statements there. Again, if I wanted to change it, I would do an else if. Again, do the user guess greater than. I would still have another else statement I would have to do. And there really isn't anything there, except if they picked a random number zero, I could say technically that's not a number. But we don't even have a zero anyway. So really, this is the best way to write the program. That's why it's like that. And that's why we don't have anything in this third else statement. I think that's all we had to do. We added an else if statement right there to accommodate the three conditions. We updated the conditions using either the greater than, less than, or the equal to to tell the user if their guess was high, low, or correct. And we tested out the program and it works now. I think that's all code.org wanted. Let's hit finish to see. Hey, good job kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.